When you watch a video online, you can choose the resolution that you watch it at. So if you're on a bad internet connection, you might choose to watch something on a low resolution with a poor image quality so that it loads and buffers faster. Now the same concept is true when you want to look at the topography, the forms and features of land surfaces on Earth. This here is a 90 meter resolution elevation model covering part of the San Andreas Fault, which doesn't really look like much of anything. The 90 by 90 meter resolution means that each grid cell represents a 90 by 90 meter area of land. Compare that to a 30 meter resolution, which is improved but still not great. We can then look at a 10 meter resolution model where we can see some more defined features. But now compare that to 1 meter resolution and now you can see all the details of the land surface and the San Andreas Fault in great detail. The resolution of topography has some of the same trade-offs as video resolution. We have low resolution topographic coverage of the whole world, but once you zoom in, you kind of lose all the features. We have much less coverage at high resolution and that can take a lot longer to process, but you can see Earth's surface features in much greater detail.